Hello and welcome in the new episode of Slovenia X and Slovenia X airports. Today we will be testing a new plane flying it from Divača airport to Portoroš airport. It is a T6 airplane and I haven't flown it much. I just uh, did all the settings, uh, connecting yoke, uh, a cockpit and all these connections. So we will be getting to know it and uh, enjoy the colorful library um, that's on it. So we are now here at the Divacha airport, another VFR airport. Um, it has two runways, it has a grass strip and it has a paved asphalt uh, runway. Uh, we will be taking off from the grass um, just to just for the fun of it. Uh, this airport has two parts, so one part is the old part with the old hangar and a couple of containers there and the new part with new hangars. We went from the old part, it has a bit more charm but the new part is also quite interesting. Um, the airport is also offered uh, in a bit downgraded rendition, so without 3D grass and without some goodies. Um, as a freeware as well, so if you would like to see how Slovenia X airports look like before you decide to buy any of our products, so I would recommend uh, downloading this airport. But if you have Slovenia X or Slovenia X airports, I would then recommend deinstalling it, uninstalling it first before installing Slovenia X uh, bundle. Now that we have taken now that we took off, I'll close the canopy so you can hear me better. And we are flying along the highway and looking around, uh, looking at the scenery. Um, there's a couple of quarries all around, um, lots of stone and uh, lots of these quarries are used to uh, so gain stone and uh, for construction sites. and. and for, for the roads and so on. So you have seen and you will see it more prominently. This is the viaduct called Czernikal, one of the tallest and the longest in Slovenia. Um, I might be mistaken, but I think that the, one of the towers is uh, quite high. I don't know, 70, 80, perhaps 100 meters high. Um, and that, that what we are looking here down below are two climbing spots, very popular one, very picturesque one. So one is called Osp Climbing Crack and the other Misha Pitch and they are both. So Misha Pitch is quite difficult um, to climb. And uh, now we are already flying over Copper and copper train station. You can see a couple of static trains down below and this is the new part of copper um, that developed in the previous wetlands. Um, so now I will have opened the cockpit in order to see better. So this is the old copper. The town had its um, wall around it and on the left can see the port of copper it's quite large and it's the biggest in Slovenia it's also very uh, it's there is heavy traffic going on uh, by trucks and mostly also by railway um, it's a port of entry of many and port of export for many goods so this flickering is something that annoys me but it's a default FSX building that sort of uh, the textures do their jobs poorly um, and now we have left copper uh, to our right. Uh, it, this hill is called Markovets. It's part of copper, so the new part. And we are just flying now over the Isola Hospital, so one of the largest hospitals uh, on the coast. And now we are nearing Isola. This is another coastal town. Uh, it had some docklands and some industry at this side and now uh, a bit forward we are already over Piran so the church there uh, a custom model and the 
football field very high up and now we have left Piran and are nearing Porto Roche this is Bernardin hotels down there and the antenna antenna tower so the transmitting tower there I'm not sure you have noticed it. these are um, something called Soline so it's a, it's not a salt mine but it's somewhere something that uh, uh, where the salt was produced so um, you put you capture the sea these pools then you let it evaporate so dry out the heat and what is left there is then scraped and you get a big pile of salt it's very tedious work and also very hot always uh, in the sun there working it's, it's a hard work um, it's more or less now for let's say tourist cultural reasons that this is maintained the production has long stopped and now you can buy this salt still um, and it's more like a, a specific product uh, say a local product that's, uh, that they are proud of more than they, they gain money now we are landing in Porto Roche airport so we've flown a bit over the border to Croatia and are coming from so this down there you can see the border passes and now we are again in Slovenia, one yards below us, also modeled in and landing uh, next to Salins. Um, you can see the Sechole church there on the right, we'll see it later more prominently. Um, this is quite a popular um, international airport, so it's more but popular due to its location. Uh, many foreign pilots uh, are coming here to visit and perhaps then go onwards to Pula or uh, to uh, airport Versa and so on so this is the landing so you see two bordering uh, passes so one is on the Slovenian side the other Croatian side um, and the runway 33 so uh, if you are driving by car to Croatia and taking this pass, you can see it from above because you are there on the hill, driving on the road and looking down, you can see this runway as you would be landing there with the plane. So we have parked it a bit more casual and we'll turn down, we'll turn off the engine and then we will have some look around. Uh, to see how this airport looks like so this is towards the Soline um, and this is towards the church so there is the building uh, terminal and there's some hangars in the background and then there in this direction there is the border with Croatia and I also wanted to show you a night picture a night scene so with this uh, apron lights uh, which are not dynamic but still are quite nice and that's it thank you for watching so see you next time